at a personal level, by the way, she was immensely kind and generous to me when I was Prime Minister. So, you know, she, she often had a, an image of being a very sort of hard person, but in fact, in private, she was immensely sympathetic and kind. People in Downing Street, for example, the staff in Downing Street always spoke really, really warmly of her. So at a personal level, um, uh, she, she was very good to me when I was Prime Minister. I think politically, um, look, certain of the reforms she made, for example, in trade union law, even though we introduced a minimum wage, we kept the basic legal framework for trade unions. We didn't renationalize many of the state industries that she privatized. So in a way, I always thought my job was to build on some of the things that she had done rather than reverse them. And that is an indication, I think, of the fact that, that many of the things she said, even though it pained people like me on the left a lot of the time, you, you have to say, have had a certain credibility and, and lasting impact. I mean, publicly, she was quite critical. I think she described your government as overweening, sustained by a personality cult at some times. But you're saying privately she was supportive. In what way does she give you support? I found whenever I wanted to, to ask her for advice, she would always give it, um, and give it in a very, you know, in a very, um, not, not, not just a direct way, but a, in, a, in a generous spirited way, if you like. And she was, you know, she was somebody who, when you met her, Privately, and I'd grown up simply seeing her at the dispatch box as, as Prime Minister, but when you met her privately, she was actually a very kind and easy person to be with. What was her strongest point, do you think, personally? Was it her conviction, do you think? Look, the, 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 the strongest thing about Margaret Thatcher is that she was a genuine leader. I mean, you can agree with her, disagree with her, but her character is undeniable. The strengths of her views were not just things that she held, as views, she wanted to implement them, and she was determined to do so. And that concept of a conviction politician that shows real leadership, uh, you know, that's, a, that's, that's worth something. It really is worth something. And, it, and it's why, you know, even if you're from the Labour side of politics, you've got to say this was a, a big figure, a towering figure, uh, who made an impact not just in our country but worldwide and, and was rightly admired. We met a former miner outside the White House today on, on holiday here. Now, he, he said that he didn't think it was right she should have a ceremonial funeral. In fact, he recalled a time when miners planned street parties for the day she would die. I mean, it's a reminder that she is still a divisive figure in British politics. Look, most leaders, if they're there for any length of time, become divisive figures. So. Do you understand his point of view, though? Of course I understand. And if, if, you, were, if you were a, a miner went through the, that period of time in the 80s, then, then, you know, some of the feelings are very deep and very strong. That's why some people on my side of politics will say to me, well, how can you say nice things about Margaret Thatcher? But if you're looking at taking everything as a whole, you, you've got to say she was a huge figure for our country and for the world. And, and as I say, some of the things she did are not just things that will stay in our country, in Britain. They're things that other governments around the world, left and right, by the way, have, have taken some counsel from and, and learnt from and done.